Hi there, in this video I'm going to carry on doing a little bit of work on these two little paintings that I've got here. They're on gesso panels. I was working on them in the last couple of videos that I've done. If you haven't seen those I'll put a link to the last one up here and you can work your way back through from there. As you probably know I don't just like to work on small paintings, I like to work on a large scale as well, like this one behind me. This is actually one I did for an exhibition last year. Uh, it's a uh, four by four feet, about 120 by 120 centimeters, and it's on canvas. Lots of different materials on there. It's been built up with quite a bit of collage. It has uh, a lot of water-based paints and drawing materials, you know, in the same sort of way that I work with my smaller paintings. But then it's been finished with quite a bit of oil paint as well to really give it a uh, more natural, softer kind of surface is what I quite like to do at, towards the end of my paintings. If you want to work on a larger scale like this, it can be a little bit daunting, especially if you're used to working on a smaller scale. But I've got a workshop coming up in July, which is all about working on large scale paintings. And we'll be going through all sorts of different ideas about how to generate a really exciting, interesting surface, paint surface, try and get the composition to work on a larger scale as well. So if you're interested in joining that workshop, it's for two weeks, it's in July, and all the information is on my website at the link here on the screen. If you're enjoying these videos, do remember to give me a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you stay to the end, I'll go through all the different things that I've been doing on these paintings.
Okay, so I have a couple of new layers on there. Yeah, they were a uh, quite interesting stage before. Uh, you know, sometimes I quite like where they get to, but then if you know a painting's not finished, you've got a choice, haven't you? You've got a choice to leave it unfinished and then you've just got an un <laughs> unfinished painting, or you can just push on through and just keep trying different things and, you know, you know just run the risk of messing it up, which is why I like to work on more than one at a time. I always work on at least two, usually three or four or five, or maybe a big one and some group of small ones, because then I can take ideas across, I can carry them from one painting to another. So with this one, I quite like all the dark stuff that was going on underneath here, uh, with the uh, uh, oil pastel that I had that was acting as a kind of resist. Uh, and again, that was something I did in the previous video, so you might want to check that one out. Um, but I knew it wasn't done. I knew it wasn't really going to be finished. So I just decided, you know, let's just not worry about it and just keep painting, slap some paint on, see what happens. Uh, with this one over here, I did put a bit of collage on first because it really wasn't at any kind of stage that I was interested in. So I thought it's quite nice sometimes just to uh, push the painting off into a completely different direction, stick a couple of bits of uh, off cuts from a sketch onto it, and just give me a new place to start. So that's what I did with that one. And I was quite enjoying what I was doing with the scratching into this one, because if you can see here, I was attacking it with the blade. And because they're on board, they're on the wooden board, they're on these gesso panels, plywood panels. It can be quite aggressive scratching into the surface and then working back over the top to reveal the marks. And when I was working on this uh, second one here a bit later on, I remembered that I'd been doing that and I was working again with this blade scratching into the surface to score a, a kind of little channel uh, for the paint to go and then putting some paint over the top and then working back over that, scraping that back to reveal again the little uh, marks where I've scraped into the surface where the paint's kind of sat inside. So I quite like doing that where I've got more than one painting on the go and something that I'm doing on one painting will remind me, oh, maybe I should try that on this other one. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Just remember to keep experimenting. Painting's all about experimentation. Doesn't matter if you end up with a bit of a mess sometimes because it's all fun and it always pushes you forward. I always think it's a good thing to have unexpected results, things that you're not, uh, you don't know you're gonna get when you start doing it. Because sometimes you get a little bit of painting and you think, you know what, I quite like that bit, I can do something with it. They're not finished in any way, of course. But there are little elements here that I'm quite enjoying and I think that's what it's all about sometimes, just finding something that excites you on the surface. Okay, like I was saying at the beginning of the video, if you're interested in my new Paint It Big online workshop, two week workshop starting in July, all about working on a larger scale, do check out the link that's on the screen. And don't forget to give me a like and subscribe. Okay, I'll see you soon.